Hello, Central State Senate. Um, I have now been your bishop for almost two weeks, and I thought it was time for me to bring greetings to you as much in person as I can. I realize this is through the internet or the airwaves or whatever you call it, but this is me coming to you to greet you, to give you a little vision of what I'm hoping we can do together, and to talk about how we might begin doing this together. So the first thing I wanna share with you is some visions that I have for our life together as a Senate, remembering that it's about walking together. And the two main focus are some things that we have been talking about across the church, and those are congregational vitality and leadership. When we think about congregational vitality, expand that to think about not only congregations, but all the ministry that we do together, and we want them to be vital which means we want our ministries, our life together in congregations to connect people to God, to connect people to each other, and connect people to the world. The reason we need vital ministries with those connections that truly do transform us is because this world needs the gospel message that we have. We have such incredible good news of grace and welcome and acceptance and life and abundance and joy, let's not be shy about sharing that. But in order to share that, we need vital communities and ministries. So that's what I'm going to be inviting all of us into. And in order to do that vital ministry together, we need leaders. We need leaders who are trained, leaders who are continuing to grow, leaders who are challenged and challenging, leaders who are supported. So I see our time together in the next few years to be focusing both on vitality and on leadership as together we work to proclaim the gospel in our world. So how are we going to do that together in our relationship with one another as bishop and as congregations, as members, as ministries? Well, I talked about these three things in a letter that I sent out with your quarterly statements, but let me reemphasize them. The first thing I want you to remember, to understand, to embrace, is that as your bishop, I am your pastor. I am the pastor not only to the pastors and the parish ministry associates, but I am the pastor to all the congregations and ministries across the two states of the Senate. And as your pastor, I want to be there to preach, to teach, to care for you, to challenge you to live out the gospel, to stir things up sometimes, but also to comfort you when times are challenging. So please see me as your pastor and reach out to me when I can be that pastor for you. And related to that, since I am your pastor, it's important for us to communicate. So that's the second thing I wanna emphasize, that we communicate directly honestly and respectfully with one another. It is much easier at times to talk about people and about what somebody else is doing rather than pick up the phone or even send an email to say, what's going on or can we talk about this? I want the lines of communication to be open between us. I want you to feel that you can call me, text me, but be sure and identify who you are so I know who's coming across on my phone or email me and I will respond back. And I hope you do the same thing when I reach out to you, that we again continue to communicate with each other. Lastly, in order to do this important work of being vital communities and raising up and supporting leaders, we need to remember that we are truly in partnership with one another. There is no way that I can do all this work by myself that your pastors can do all this work by themselves, parish ministry associates, council presidents, all of those people, but together in partnership, we can do amazing things together. And that partnership has lived out in a variety of ways. One of them is mission support, where each congregation looks at their own offering and shares a percentage of their offering with the church we do together in partnership as a Senate. And then the Senate passes on 50% to the church-wide organization. So as you have your conversations around budgets this fall, 
I encourage you to make that part of the conversation. We're also in partnership by participating in various teams and committees and boards, all of that structural stuff. But that stuff is important because it helps us to do our work together. So for Senate Council, for example, we have two open positions for a deacon and a young adult. Maybe there's someone out there who would like to step up and be part of the Senate Council to oversee the work we do together. We also have so many wonderful teams today. In fact, it is September 13th. I just met with the Lutherans Restoring Creation team and wow, are they on fire. Be part of that work, but find some ways to plug in. And lastly, we live out this partnership by simply showing up for one another. To show up at Senate assemblies and for rostered ministers and PMAs at our theological conferences, conference gatherings, those kinds of things. Let's show up for one another so that we can listen to one another and live out that partnership. So again, my friends in Christ, I am excited and thrilled to be your bishop to step into this new relationship with you to see where the next six years will take us. I will be listening to you. I hope you will be talking to me as well as listening to me and that together we see where God is taking us. Thank you and have a good day.